All right, so we're in the town of Bishop. We stopped here to pick up our crampons and ice axes that we rented at uh, Sage to Summit here in town. Highly recommend, good, good shop, very easy. And uh, we picked up some burritos in town and we're sitting here at the park having some food. And then we're gonna head out uh, towards the trailhead. So that's Alabama Hills, Lone Pine. We're heading up to the trailhead. We're already, what are we, 8,000 feet? 75? Here's our campsite at the trailhead. Actually, we have two campsites. Those are five tents. This is where our journey begins. Uh, we're here at the was it Cottonwood? Cottonwood Campground? Cottonwood. And uh, Cottonwood Lakes. So we're at 10,000 feet. It's gorgeous. Uh, lovely day. So we'll hope that continues. So yeah, we'll spend the night here and get going in the morning. He's this guy who like knew pretty much since I got into scouts. Like I was in the fire. fire <laughs> no, we but... got in there. And he like shoved his hand in, grabbed. All right, repacked my pack, got the ice axe on there, ready to go. You couldn't even like get a rock, pick it up, put it in the trash can. Good morning. We're on day one, or maybe not even a mile in on the first day, and just a gentle trail at this point. It's a beautiful morning, not too hot, no, no wind, no bugs yet. Um, the plan today is to do, I think we're doing about six miles. Um, not a whole lot of elevation gain, but a little bit. And we're gonna camp by a lake to set us up for kind of a bigger day tomorrow where we have to do a lot of climbing and hopefully summiting Mount Langley. So yeah, I'm bringing up the rear as usual. So we'll, uh, we'll talk to you in a little bit. Here. He's a 
deer right here. She's hanging out right next to the trail. And across, she's about 10 feet in front of me. Hi, it's okay, I'm just walking past you. I'm walking past you. Okay, bye. Just a whole lot of rocks. That's where we're going up tomorrow. Cool little snow tunnel, snow bridge thing there. We just came up from over there. We skirted around the snow at the bottom there. And then I think where we're gonna camp is just at the top of this ridge, so we're just about there. So there was our camp for the night. We did have to dig out a bit of snow to make room for all of our tents. Not a whole lot of room to camp here. It's mostly just all boulders and rocks. But there's a high lake over there. Some pretty impressive rock monoliths all around us. And if you look up there, we need to climb up right up here tomorrow early. And then on the other side, over this ridge is Mount Langley that we're hoping to climb too. But we're all definitely feeling some of the effects of the altitude, just, you know, being tired and everything takes a lot more energy. A few mild headaches, but one more night should uh, help us feel better. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. What's for dinner, Reese? Be beans and rice. Beans and rice. And delicious well, everything summer fits. sausage. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Rob, there's also the sunlight at the top of these trees up here, which is like pretty crazy. This is what we get to see in the morning of day two. We had a bit of rain this morning so we had to do a little fire drill to get everything inside the tent so it wouldn't get wet All right, we're setting out at 7.40 in the morning, heading up that way. That's almost directly above Reese's head is New Army Pass where we have to get up and over. We have to scramble over some rocks to avoid all the snow and ice. We're more than halfway up New Army Pass. 
kind of scoped out where we're gonna go to get over that snow cornice. So we should be in good shape. There's Tim coming up the trail. That's looking down where we came from. We camped right by that lake last night. Now it's way down there. The marmots are probably having fun scavenging where we camped. <laughs> I think we're above 12,000 feet now, so every step I take, I'm just setting more personal records. They're almost there. You can see Brendan and Ben up there. Reese is up ahead. Old guys bringing up the rear. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Got it? Yeah. I mean, actually, it, it is not bad. Like, it's, it's really perfect. It's, it's pretty good. The last few steps are a little big steps. Yeah. All right. Basically at the top of New Army Pass. Well, just to the left, upper left there, there's Whitney. That's where we're headed. And just behind the sign there is Mount Langley, which we're hopefully gonna summit today as well. That's four, a little over 14,000. We're 12, two or something right now. Success. So how was that out of 10? <laughs> 10 out of 10 would do again? I would. I would. Yeah. yeah it was, it was honestly, it wasn't as bad as I was imagining. So, so this is where we're going to drop our packs and carry day packs up to the summit of Langley Peak or Mount Langley. Mount Langley. Not a bad view. Then we have to go up there. About 12,700 feet right now. And we have to get up there. It's covered in clouds right now. See our campsite for tonight down below there. All right, here we are up above 14,000 feet. It's sleeting or something. No view. But trust me when I say it's a sheer drop. And it goes down a long way. Yes. Talk about being mad about something <laughs> like this. So what's happening now? Uh, it's, it's snowing. snowing. It is, it's it's snowing. is snowing. snowing. <laughs> Just to get the full experience. Excellent. Yeah, 
that's real good. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go it's find like some place warmer. Steep. Yeah, we found the mosquitoes. There's one on the phone right there. Didn't have a chance to show you our campsite last night when we got in. We were all pretty wiped out after 10 miles and climbing over New Army Pass and Mount Langley and a water crossing and mosquitoes. And we all just pretty much ducked into bed pretty quickly. But here we are by Soldier Lake, I think. A uh, few mosquitoes, not horrible, but definitely a nuisance. And uh, we had a bit of rain overnight, pretty heavy rain, so we're drying out this morning and getting kind of a casual start to our day. So day three, we're just about ready to take off. We've got about 10 miles today. Gonna go down for the first four miles or so, and then we have to climb over a pass. And we should end up at Crab Tree Meadows. Um, so weather's looking decent today, hopefully no rain, uh, feeling pretty good after yesterday's very tough day. <laughs> so today will be a little bit easier, which will be nice. So we'll see you on the trail. So that was our other option. <coughs> Lunch break. No. How it I don't know. <laughs> I've talked to trail crew guys and I've asked them, you know, just
There's Whitney up there. I can't see it. It's covered in clouds. We're making our way down there in the thunder and lightning and rain. It's a gate. Yeah, you don't get any weather feeds or anything up here. No radar. And now we have hail. So the more you walk like that, the wetter your <laughs> Stay closer to the rocks. Yes. Oh, are you turning the sand down in that video? <laughs> <laughs> Stay close to the rocks. All right, Brendan, show us how it's done. All right, here we go. Oh, I <laughs> All right, good job. Looks pristine over there, but if you come this way, it's our gear yard sale. This is called drying out. <laughs> so lucky to have a gorgeous sunny day. Pretty much every inch of rock space is being covered with gear. <laughs> and somewhere up that way is Whitney.
too much flat and cruisy trail like this on this trail. <laughs> this is nice. Up there to the right, somewhere in the clouds is Whitney. Finally cleared up so you can see the top of Whitney there. Lake. Whitney. Tim. All right, here's our campsite with Whitney right there. Ranger's already been by to check on us. That was nice. Gave us some information on the search and rescue that we saw last night. Somebody who had some GI issues that they had to helicopter out. And Guitar Lake is right over there. And we have this fantastic water source right next to our camp. This place is really filling up. There are people everywhere. So the plan is to get up at 2.30 and hopefully hit the trail around 3.30. And we'll see how it goes. It's gonna be slow, but uh, we'll get there. After all the cold and rain last night, it's sunny and beautiful tonight. This is the view from my tent, and it's baking me right now. <laughs> All right, it is 2.30 in the morning, and we are awake and beginning to pack up to start our ascent of Whitney. Um, we want to get up and over the mountain uh, kind of early just to avoid any you know, possible thunderstorms that are going to pop up today. Uh, we had some rain overnight, some wind overnight, uh, nothing major. Well, it was quite a bit of thunder and lightning, but not a lot, not a whole lot of rain and wind. So uh, we just want to make sure that's not going to be an issue today. Uh, so yeah, we'll put the headlamps on and start hiking here shortly. All right, I think we're just about all packed up, ready to hit the trail in the dark. What could be better than that? <laughs> You can already see lights up on the hill. People are already starting their ascent. Lots of lights here in camp. People packing up and getting ready to go. So yeah, you guys ready? Ready. Let's do it. All right, we're at 13,000 feet, making our way up the switchbacks. And this is just unreal. Hey, came on! Hey. All right. Yeah. Getting closer. 
That's because you're yeah. breaking the law. <laughs> you're not. You're digging yourself into a deeper hole here. Do you realize that? And uh, he's. he's... I don't think so. I don't think so. Um. Well, if you're feeling really brave, you can camp here. I think I'll pass. All right, we'll see if this works this time. Last night we camped right down there. We are much higher than that now. So this is the junction where we get to drop our packs and head off to the summit with a light pack. And all the packs are dropped for the push to the summit. These aren't all ours, but... We're going to head up that way. Summit's way over here somewhere. Over there in the distance is Mount Langley, where we were the other day. Crazy. You definitely don't want to take a wrong step here. Well, here's our view of Whitney. Not much of a view, but we're here. We have all these kick ass signs. And then I moved an inch to the left and I lost her. So that's how finicky it is. There's the shack. We're going to go sit in there and eat some food in a second. log. I can't open it so I don't know. There we go. Lots of stickers. And a pen. <laughs> well, there's still snow on the inside of the hut. Just a little bit. All right, I hold this all the way up here, so I'm gonna have just a little sip.
Keep pedaling. Excellent. I approve. Yep. And we're heading off at Whitney down to get our packs and head down to Whitney Portal and to be done with this trip. Yeah, right? Super yellow. <coughs> How you doing, Tim? Well, This is the top of the infamous snow slope, Tim's Crossing. Looks pretty easy. You can see down there where people have been glissading. <laughs> Go Reese, Brendan, and Ben crossing this snowfield over to trail camp. It's a big snowfield.
A lot of avalanche damage here at Whitney Portal. All right, got to walk through the end. Yeah. The iconic shot. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> you did it. All right. Hi, Rob. We're going to walk through the end.